Greetings everyone, it is Ryder, and today the Lord wanted me to come on and share another prophetic word with you, and the title of this message is Food Prices Will Rise. Food Prices Will Rise. And I know the Lord just wants me to get right into this. So it was a couple nights ago, I had a dream, and um, you know, like I just got this like one snippet, you know, and there were other like bits and pieces of different dreams that I had throughout that night when I was in and out of sleep, but there was just this one dream, this one snippet that stuck with me, and I haven't been able to shake it off for the past several days. And originally I was like, you know, is this from the Lord? I don't know, but for the past few days I just haven't been able to shake this off. And the Lord was like, This is from me. I want you to upload this, you know, tomorrow. He said that to me yesterday. So here we are. So the Lord had, you know, shown me in a dream that I had a couple nights ago. I remember I was like going into this building and I think it was like a diner or something and it I didn't think it was like fancy or anything like that but I went in you know I saw their menu posted on the wall I didn't even look at any of the wait staff or anything I just looked at their menu on the wall and I remember that everything at this diner was like so expensive like just being able to go and you know get some like you know some like pancakes or hash browns or you know w whatever you would get at a diner like you know the thing I want Wanted, which was probably pancakes, which I probably shouldn't be eating, but they're good. Um, you know, like I looked at the price and it was like $44.99 or something crazy. And it, so it was like really expensive. And this wasn't like a fancy place or anything. The menu had like cursive writing on it, but I, I barely saw anybody in this building. It looked dark. There was like nobody in there. I saw barely any wait staff and their prices were so high. And that's probably why there was nobody in there. And I remember, it, it was odd but I literally just I saw the menu I saw the prices and I literally ran like I didn't walk I ran out of the building it was like ah, get me out of here it, it was like one of those sort of things and then that was all I remembered and I was like well what does this mean because I thought it had something to do with like food prices rising immediately and I just wanted to make sure that this was like from the Lord before I go and post this because I don't want people like worrying, you know? Um, and the Lord had told me yesterday that, you know, like food prices are going to continue to rise in this season. Like food prices are going to continue to rise. The cost of groceries will continue to go up and the cost of going out to eat like at like a restaurant or a diner or anything like that, it's going to exceedingly increase like it will exceedingly increase. So most people aren't going to be going out. The Lord had told me that going out to a restaurant to eat, it's going to become a luxury that only the rich can afford. So the cost of going out, you know, like it's going to just keep rising. Like even if you're not going to like a fancy like steakhouse or something like that, you know, even just going to like a normal restaurant like like Applebee's or Chili's or go into like a diner like it's gonna keep going up it's gonna be like really expensive and it's gonna become a luxury that only the rich can afford and everybody else isn't gonna be going out it might be a treat that happens like once or twice a year but like everyone else you know is gonna be like cooking at home eating at home staying at home you know and not going out because it's gonna be too expensive you know but the Lord says that he doesn't want his children to worry. He doesn't want people to worry. He just is having me say this so that you know what is going to happen in this season. The Lord did not give me a timeline on this, but he said that this is going to happen soon. And at least in the United States, this has been going on since the pandemic where the cost of groceries has been rising. The cost of going out has been rising. I feel like the cost of groceries has kind of stabilized, but the cost of going out is still going up. Um, but yeah, like at least that's what's going on in the U.S. But the Lord doesn't want people to worry about this. He doesn't want people to worry about the rising cost of food. He just wants you to know this so that you can prepare, so that you can budget, so that you can plan accordingly. Now, more than ever, it is important to be frugal. It is important to spend your money wisely, to focus on what you need when it comes to food versus what you want. And that's something that can be hard for me because I have times when I go to the grocery store and, like, I eat for pleasure, you know, like, I just eat, you know, like, 
like I'll put things in my car and I'm like, ooh, that looks good. I'll grab that. But it's like, do I need it? Like, no. Is it particularly healthy? No, I just wanted it, you know? <laughs> and it's like those times when I'm just putting stuff in my cart or my basket just because I want it. Like, you know, like I've been trying to be better about it. I'm still not perfect, but it definitely has cut down on the cost of groceries. And now more than ever, we need to be frugal. We need to be mindful about what we're buying, what we're eating, what we're putting in our bodies. We need to make wise decisions. We need to steward the finances that the Lord has given us well, and he will guide you. Like there's times when I'm at the grocery store and I ask God, you know, like, should I get this? And sometimes he's like, no. And I'm like a little kid, like, you know, I'm not actually like, stamping my fee in the grocery store but in my head I'm having a bit of a temper tantrum kind of like when a parent tells their kids like no we can't get like you know that bag of chips or that random box of cereal because it's just sugar like we can't get this you know and the kids having a meltdown like sometimes I'm not happy with the answer but I try my best to listen I don't always um like there's sometimes when I see something and I know I shouldn't be getting it like like a box of cookies or something and I'll put it in the cart but it's like should I have gotten that no um so I'm trying to be better about that. And I think that that's something we all need to do. We need to be wise about the money that we're spending. We need to be, you know, frugal when we go to the grocery store. We need to focus on getting what we need instead of what we want. And also what we need is normally healthy food that's going to nourish our bodies. So like fruits, veggies, protein, rice, like grains, you know, like all that sort of stuff we need to nourish our bodies. But things, you know, like Kool-Aid and soda and chips and cookies and all this stuff, we don't need that. It's just garbage. Like it's just like sugar and salt and oil, you know, and it doesn't keep us full. It doesn't nourish us. Like we don't need it. Those are things that we want, but not things that we need. And it's okay to have a treat once in a while but it's just like don't overdo it you know because the cost of food is going to continue to rise so now more than ever we need to just like make sure that we're budgeting to make sure that we have what we need so just focus on that and god will supply your needs you know like you have enough you have enough to feed yourself you have enough to clothe yourself you have enough to house yourself god has given you everything that you need you have enough finances you have enough resources the issue, if you're noticing any scarcity, and I've been in this spot myself, it's usually just a result of not stewarding those finances as well. And if you are actually like in need, then there's definitely resources and agencies that can help with things like rent payments, utility bills, going to food banks, food pantries to make ends meet. But what I've seen more than anything with a lot of Christians that I know, if they're feeling that pinch, you know, when I felt it too, it's normally because like, we're buying unnecessary things and that could be money that's saved or used for something else, you know? Um, so the Lord just wants you to know this, just to, a reminder to be frugal, to eat healthy and to focus on what you need instead of what you want and just to plan for, you know, what the Lord's going to do soon, like how the cost of everything is going to continue to rise. Like he's allowing this to happen, you know? And, you know, I've also heard, like, you know, one of my roommates was mentioning that it might be good to, like, stock up on, like, dry goods, you know, because he heard, like, another prophetic voice say the same thing, that food is going to be more expensive. And he had said, you know, like, oh, well, maybe we should get some, like, bulk dry goods, like, you know, bags of rice and beans and, you know, jars of peanut butter and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm not worried about that. But after the Lord showed me this dream, I'm kind of wondering if that might be a good idea. If nothing else, even if we don't use it, then like, you know, we just have extra rice and beans and peanut butter and stuff on hand for me and the other guys I live with to use, um, you know, as needed. But if we do need it, then that'll be helpful. But, you know, I don't think that we necessarily need that right now. I would say before you do any like planning and stuff, just take it up to the Lord. But I just feel in my spirit, like, you know, the Lord's given us everything that we need already. We just need to steward what we have properly and ask God how to manage our finances and how to manage our diets as well, you know, and to just like focus on like cooking at home, being content with what we have instead of being like, oh, I wish I had this. I wish I could go out. I wish I could do that. Like, you know, we have to learn, and this includes myself as well, we have to learn to be content with what the Lord's given us. If he's given us food, if he's given us clothes, then we should be grateful and content with that. With all that being said, I hope that this message was helpful. So for now, take care, stay safe, have a wonderful rest of the day, and know that Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Bye-bye.